what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Throwback Thursday tutorial. This is the look I'm doing today. I love it. Like, check out these eyes. Aren't they beautiful? It's kind of this foresty green and like mauve combination. I think it's really pretty. Since it is Throwback Thursday, we use an older throwback palette that no one talks about anymore. This Thursday, we are using the Tarte Cosmetics Tartist Pro Palette. It is one of my favorites. No one ever uses it, and it is so gorgeous. Look at all these colors. We use the green. We use some berries. A lot of fun shades in this video. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. Today we're going to be using the Tartist Pro Palette from Tarte Cosmetics. This has been one of my favorites for a long time and I feel like no one ever uses it and the shades are gorgeous. You have a ton of matte shades and some really pretty shimmer shades. We got to use this green today. I'm going crazy over it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to pop this right on my lids. I haven't been using primer as you guys know for a long time. I pretty much just put my foundation and concealer on, set it with some powder and then that's my base. So that's what I like to do. To start this look off, I want to go into the shade Innocent, which is kind of a light pinky beige shade. I love the giant mirror in this palette. And I'm going to work this throughout the crease as our transition tone. This is my Sigma E40 blender brush and just pop that in there. So I just watched the first episode of the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson series and I enjoyed it. You guys know I'm not and no offense. If you love Jeffree Star, that's, that's your right to do so. And I don't judge anyone for who they like and who they watch. For me, I've had a hard time, um, watching Jeffree Star just because some of his actions um I, we all know what they are I was not a big fan of so I've never used his products I've never bought a Jeffree Star product I've never really watched his videos I don't follow him on social media it was just really hard for me to get behind him because I've seen him do so many hurtful things to people that I really love but I wanted to see what Shane Dawson's gonna say I want to see what he's gonna ask him the first video didn't have anything really too serious in it it was just you know looking at all of Jeffree Star's super expensive things so we didn't get much information out of the first one but I'm excited to see what the next few videos will hold for us. I love Shane Dawson and I trust his you know thoughts and his decisions and so I really wanted to see what he was going to do with this series. I hope he really asks him some important questions that I think should be asked. I know Jeffrey of course has addressed a lot of things but there's a lot of things he hasn't addressed. I don't I don't always love the way he treats women with the whole makeup by Shayla situation and the Jackie Ina situation and Jackie Ina is one of my good friends so I just there's a lot of things I've seen him do that really were just so hurtful it's hard for me to get on Team Jeffrey, but I'm interested in the series. I'm interested what he has to say, and I hope Shane Dawson really asks him the tough questions I think he needs to be asked. We'll see. That's, I just want to let you guys know. Did you guys watch it? What do you think? Are you a fan of Jeffree Star? How do you feel? And again, be, be kind. If you're a diehard fan, don't take offense to what I'm saying because you have every right to like who you like. And I don't think just because I don't prefer someone that you really like doesn't mean that we can't be friends, be good old buddies, you know? Different strokes for different folks. That's a pretty crease, isn't it? Next, I want to jump into this really pretty berry shade. This is called Mood. It really is my mood. I'm always in this type of mood. And I'm taking this with my E25 blender brush. Again, layering that right in the crease. We're going to work right below that innocent shade that we were using. I always love a good Tarte eyeshadow palette. I have not tried their foundation since that whole situation happened. I actually think Tarte hates me, which makes me sad because I've been a huge fan of their brand for a very, very long time. But when that foundation thing was going down, I kind of had to say something. I just felt like it was my duty as an influencer to you know draw attention and speak up when things aren't right um but even before that I've used Tarte products for years on my channel and they never like my photos when I tag them so I think they hate me but that that's okay I still like their products I'll continue to use them maybe not the foundations but anything else I will I've always really loved their eyeshadows I think they're so smooth and buttery all the way around make sure you're hitting that inner socket as well while I have you guys here go ahead and if you want to give this video a thumbs up up and subscribe so you don't miss another. I also have a giveaway going on on my Instagram right now, so you should definitely go check that out. My Instagram link is in the bottom, but it's that girl ThatGirlShayXO, just like my channel, and I'd love for you to enter my giveaway. It is only um, open to the US. I do want you to know that. I used to do worldwide giveaways, but the past few that I did, I had all international winners. It cost me around $300 each time to ship the package, if not more. I think one was $255, one was $300, and I just can't do it right now, you guys. I will do it as soon as my wedding's over, but right now I just cannot afford it. I gotta save, I gotta pinch my panties. I'm gonna do the same thing in this crease and we'll move on to the rest of the eye. Next with that same E25 brush, I wanna go into, I think the deeper berry purple right next to Mood. This is called Drama. Dropped my palette, but it's okay. 
I was so scared. A, if it broke, and B, if it hit my carpet. Ooh, y'all, I'm rinsing. I cannot ruin this carpet. That's a beautiful shade. I'm just like, mmm, popping it right in there. Give it that little oomph that it needs. Really pick it up. Okay, so I'm almost done making my bridesmaids gifts. I want to know, is that something you guys are really interested in seeing? Because I was going to make a video of everything that I make. Word, you guys don't actually even care to see it. So if you're not interested, let me know so that I don't, because it's a lot to go move all my equipment downstairs to my dining room table, which has turned into my crafting table. Poor Luke has not had dinner at our table in weeks, eating on the couch like a savage, poor guy. But let me know if you're actually interested. Just marrying that right in that crease. And then also going into Vamp, this delicious little dark purple. Pop that right in the outer corner. Gosh, these colors are beautiful. I do not use this palette enough. Add some smoky smoky out there. You guys know how I do. Is this palette still available? If it is, I feel like I need a backup. Every time I use an older palette and I really love it, I'm like, shit, is it still available? Because I don't want to lose it. I really want some of those dose of colors. Is that who had them? I think those really shimmery shades. I really want some. How beautiful is this crease? I'm obsessed. Now to finish it off, I want to spritz my brush. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Makeup Setting Spray. Get that nice and damp. This is the Large Shader E60 brush. I'm first gonna go into the shade Minx and we're gonna pop that all over the lid right in the center. Then I'm also taking some of the shade Trendy down here, this beautiful kind of greeny, I don't know how to describe it. And I'm gonna layer that on the edge. And because our lid's already a little wet from the previous brush, I didn't have to wet my brush for this one. I'm just layering it right on top. And then I'm also going to take some on the inner half, right on that inner corner. Ooh, this is beautiful. What do you guys think of that lid? I think that is super fun. It's like smoky, yet there's a pop of color. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my other eye and we will finish off the face. How gorgeous is this eye color? I love how these shades just fuse together. It's sexy, it's interesting, it's still fun. It's like a great party makeup, I think, or for like a night out, it's super cool. On our waterline, I'm gonna take Urban Decay's Mainline Eyeliner Pencil. I think this kind of goes with the green on our eye, wouldn't you say? So I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line with this. Oh yeah, that is perfect. And it's something fun and different than a black, you know what I mean? Kind of mix it up a bit. Once that's applied, we want to smudge it out. I'm going to take my little E30 pencil brush from Sigma and just work that back and forth to give that a bit of a softer transition, blow it out a bit, make it a little smoother. And then on top of that, we're first going to take the shade Edgy, which is just a brown, and I'm just going to set that right on that waterline. This is going to hold it in place, but also just give it a more of a smooth transition down to the face so it doesn't look so awkward. Like when you just look at the blue, it's kind of like, whoa, okay. But when you fade it out with a bit of a brown, it makes a difference. It just looks a little better. And then same thing on this side real quick, just smudgy, smudgy. And then from there, one last step. I'm gonna take the E43 blending brush. By the way, if you're curious about what brushes I'm using, I always list them in the bottom box down below, so you can check them out there. I like to run a dry brush right on top of that line and fade it out as much as I can. I love this makeup, I think it's so fun. Now because this shadow, in my opinion, is so beautiful, I really don't want to muck it up with any eyeliner on my top lash line. So I'm going to throw on some mascara and some lashes. The mascara I'm going to use will be, let's do Too Faced Better Than Sex. So I'm going to do a few coats of this. And then for falsies, I'm going to put on this Poise set by Kiss, I believe it is. It's either Kiss, yeah, I think it's Kiss Lashes. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these on and I'll be right back. All right, so the eyes are done, you guys. Here they are with the lashes and mascara. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I love this eye look so much. I'm gonna wear this a whole lot more often. I think it's gorgeous. Let's move on to cheeks and yeah, cheeks. I think for blush, I wanna do a little bit of like a bubblegum pink. So I'm gonna use ColourPop Noodle Blush. Taking that with my F30 brush from Sigma. No, this is the F40, I'm sorry. F40 brush. Get a nice flush going on. Mm. I love blush so much, like too much. And then for highlighter, it's been a minute since I used this one. It's one of my favorites. This is Pop Beauty Celestial Light Blush. It's like uber metallic, uber awesome. So I'm going to take some of that with my F42 fan brush from Sigma. It is so beautiful. I feel like no one talks about this highlighter and it is so gorgeous. I mean, Pop Beauty, let's be real, is not that popular of a brand. They were kind of cheesy for many, many years and now their products are getting a lot better. I don't know if someone bought them out, if they have like a new team, but they're really trying to step their game up. I can tell. Some of their packaging on things is still a little corny. I wish they would just stop it. It looks like play makeup and not in like a fun way. It looks like kid makeup. Their packaging at least. This was a nice change. This looks a little nicer. Some of their other stuff, I just got these like lip 
pens from them. Well, on the nose there. And it just looks childish, honestly. And a little on the Cupid's bow. And just like that, I'm gorgeous. No, I'm kidding. On the lips, I'm going to do Kylie Cosmetics Coco K Liquid Lipstick. That's really pretty, isn't it? And then once it dries down, I want to do a little bit of blushing margarita. Yes, a little bit of blushing margarita. Is this a gloss or a liquid lipstick? And there you have it, you guys. So that is it for this week's Throwback Thursday tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. For a list of products and brushes that I used, check the bottom box down below. Please don't forget to leave this video without giving me a thumbs up. That helps me so much. It recommends my videos to other people, so please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below of what palette you would like to see in next week's Throwback Thursday tutorial. I love you guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye!